Hey everyone, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another tutorial for you. Do you remember freezer pops as a kid? I remember we used to run around all summer long eating those in between swimming our laps in the pool. The problem with them is that we always ended up freezing our little fingers. So what I've come up with here is a tutorial on how to make a freezer pop cozy to keep your hands or your children's hands nice and warm. The great thing about these is they can make great party favors or they're fantastic for when you're just hanging around in the back of the yard and want a popsicle. These can be made up quickly in about 5 to 10 minutes. The one I'm completing in the tutorial today will be 14 rows or rounds. You can also make them larger for adult size and in those I added on an extra row, I have about 15 rows on there, uh, but those are with a slightly thicker worsted weight yarn. The one from the tutorial, I used worsted weight yarn, but it was a baby yarn. So grab your supplies and we'll get started with our tutorial. For this project, you will need a crochet hook. For this project, I'm using a size H or five millimeter. Worsted weight yarn, this is the perfect project for all those extra leftover scraps of yarn you may have. Scissors, a yarn needle for weaving in your ends, and this one is optional. I didn't use this in the tutorial, but if you need to, you can use a stitch marker to keep track of your rows. Let's get started. To begin our project, we're either going to start with a magic ring and working five single crochets inside of it, or if you're uncomfortable with the magic ring or you prefer to use chains, you can chain two and work five into the second chain from hook. Five single crochets into the second chain from your hook. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a magic ring. And then I'm gonna work five single crochets into the middle. I'm going to tighten down my ring. Okay, and now instead of doing a slip stitch into the first, I want to just continue working all the way around um, so that I don't have the seam showing when this is finished. If you're doing different colors or you're changing and doing stripes or anything, you might want to change it up, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go back into my first single crochet and I'm going to do two single crochets. And then I'm going to continue to do two single crochets in each stitch around. So I should have 10 stitches by the time I finish this row. I'm back at the beginning and I have 10 single crochets. So now what I need to do is I need to do two single crochets in the first stitch of the previous round. Then I'm gonna single crochet in the next four. And then I'm gonna single crochet two into the next one. And then, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to single crochet four in the next four stitches. Now I'm back at the beginning, so you should have 12 stitches total. And now it's easy, you just keep working in the round, and we're going to go up to 12 rounds. So we've already completed our first three rounds, and we want to do nine more. So I will see you back here once it's done. I'm now back at the end of my row 
and I actually ended up doing two extra rows so I have 14 on here total so if you want to make it a little bit longer and you can size it out if you're doing it for an adult male you'll probably want it a little bit longer even but for a child this will be perfect to fit into their hands and then not take up too much of the of the freezer pop so all we need to do now is slip stitch into our next stitch and then we're going to cut it off, weave in our ends, and then you're all done and you have your freezer pop cozy. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials when I'm able to come out with them. Uh, until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.